Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nutrition 101 series where we break down the nutritional essentials for a healthy and balanced life. My name is Melissa Nell, I'm a registered dietitian and part of the Body20 Nutrition Doctor team and today we will be looking at the wonderful world of micronutrients or typically, as you know them, vitamins and minerals. So if you are wondering whether you should or shouldn't be taking a multivitamin and mineral or you're just looking to understand how to get the most out of your diet, I do think this video is for you. Before we start with the video, just a reminder that we do these videos every two weeks. You are very welcome to let us know if you have any um, questions or if there's any specific topics you'd like us to uh, do in these videos via WhatsApp or email. So let's start with vitamins. So these little guys might be small in quantity, but they play a huge role in keeping us healthy. We get two types of vitamins, specifically fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. So let's start with the fat soluble vitamins. Now fat soluble vitamins means that they actually get stored in the fatty tissue in the body. And these vitamins include vitamin A, D, E and K. These vitamins are also better absorbed in the body when they are paired with fat in the diet, for example. And it basically comes down to the fact that we can store these vitamins in our bodies. So we need to be mindful if we are taking a multivitamin that contains these nutrients. So you can maybe think of always incorporating a healthy fat into your diet. That's why it's always said, yes, healthy fats have a lot of other benefits as well, but it does increase the absorption of these vitamins that I've just mentioned. So think of maybe drizzling a little bit of olive oil onto your salad just to make sure that the nutrients and vitamins actually get absorbed even better. Why I wanted to um, really focus on the fact that these vitamins actually get stored in the body is especially with vitamin D, which we know is super important. We get it from the sun if we spend time in the sun, of course. Um, but it is something that we typically see people supplementing with um, for general health and well-being because vitamin D has so many important roles it plays in the body like for example immunity it has a massive impact on our bone density and health and actually a decreased vitamin d level in the body has actually been shown to increase the levels of depression so vitamin d is really important so it's easy to just go to the pharmacy and get a vitamin d supplement and they are so cheap as well but it is something that you need to be careful of seeing as it does get stored in the body and if you are taking it at high amounts it might become toxic so always just be mindful of that the next group of vitamins is our water soluble vitamins meaning that they actually get dissolved in water and then excreted through the body if there's too much of them so the body actually takes what it needs uses it and the rest gets excreted in for example your urine these include your b vitamins as well as vitamin c now you'll typically see with multivitamins that majority of that multivitamin is made up of B vitamins and C and that's mainly why um, the reason is just to make sure that we aren't going into the toxic or the higher levels that can be stored in the body like I've mentioned with for example vitamin D. Now these water soluble vitamins are still really important and they play a massive role in our bodies but it's important to note that we need to actually be replenishing them every single day since they don't actually get stored and that's why having a variety in your diet is so so crucial and really just making sure you are having that balance every single day to make sure you are getting in what you need to sustain your health and to make sure you are promoting your well-being in general now let's talk about a multivitamin specifically should you be taking one or should you not and which one <laughs> and and so forth is a typical question we get and rightly so because i mean if you go into the pharmacy you'll see many 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 different multivitamins some have different strengths some claim wonderful things and so forth so general rule of thumb is that we really want to treat it as a supplement to an already well-balanced diet so it's not a replacement it's a supplement so you definitely need to be focusing on your diet first now there are certain people that might benefit from a multivitamin like for example if you have a specific chronic disease or if you're pregnant um, maybe if you are under a lot of stress if you are someone that has certain deficiencies or you are following a very restrictive diet or you are putting your body through a lot of 
um, how would I say, exertion, for example, like if you are an athlete training for, for an extreme event, for example. So there are certain cases where a multivitamin might be beneficial, but it's not necessarily that you need to be taking a multivitamin as a rule of thumb. We definitely need to make sure we're getting it in from food first and then adding a multivitamin if needed as a supplement. And like I've said, most multivitamins have majority B vitamins and vitamin C, which in any case gets excreted by the body if you know your body has reached the amount that it needs. So it might actually become quite expensive if you are overdosing yourself with those multivitamins. Just keep that in mind. Moving on to minerals. So minerals are also really tiny in quantity, but again, also play a massive role in our health. Think of calcium, magnesium, iron, potassium, and the likes. Now these play a role from bone health to immunity to just general well-being and life. <laughs> this is um, preservation typically. So we do want to make sure that we are incorporating them into our diet. Now, having a whole food diet where you are incorporating fruits and vegetables, um, nuts and seeds, legumes, whole grains and dairy and protein, whether it's plant-based or animal-based, you typically will be getting in a sufficient amount of minerals from those foods, seeing as we don't need a massive amount um, in the foods, luckily. So think of things like, for example, dark green leafy veggies contain iron, but also contain potassium, for example. Your nuts and seeds typically contain magnesium and selenium. So having a good variety of different foods in your diet will typically tick the boxes when it comes to your um, minerals. So in general, to sum it up, I think, and this is typically the conclusion to most videos we make, is that having a variety in your diet is so, so, so important. And having a colorful diet is really a great way to make sure you are incorporating majority of the different vitamins and minerals you need um, to make sure you are optimizing your health, keeping healthy, making sure you're protecting your immune system, you know, enhancing your bone health, looking after your um, mental health, and the list just goes on and on and on. So it really is worth your while to make sure you are incorporating a variety into your diet as far as possible, and then if necessary, supplementing with a multivitamin or a specific nutrient where needed. Like I've mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you have any questions, you are very welcome to send us a WhatsApp or an email, and I'll see you in the next one.